not sure what to say. Jesus. You're passenger princess for the last time. Uh, no, I'm always passenger. Yeah, you're, you're upgraded to passenger queen. Okay. <laughs> it's time. Hi, I'm anxious. <laughs> really? No, totally you're, fine. You're great. Wow, look at that beef up. Almost cried 10 times on the way here. Just need to get in there and get settled. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Also, I got the cup. We both did. They have one for Jack in Epic here, standards. one for me. This is the first time we're talking to them on the delivery vlog club. Whoa. I know. Sit down if you want, or are you just pacing? I'm just pacing. Okay, you can pace. You like sitting for what? I feel like nothing has happened, but there's like so many things that have happened <laughs> also. I could have like, you know. Lots of talk. Yeah, so overall, I was extremely anxious coming in, I would say, but my nurse is literally the best, She's so sweet. and I don't want her to ever go home or have to <laughs> sleep, ever, so she can stay. Um, she's just like extremely calm. It's almost like when she's explaining things, she wants to make sure that like I am 100% okay before she like leaves. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, so I feel really good about that. I've got monitors on right now, and it's not that I don't want to get in the gown, but there's just just not anything that I'm in the gown for currently, so. But a bit of a rocky start as far as IVs go. <laughs> I can't get my veins to work. You're and you're stubborn. Apparently, like, and I've never, I guess, had someone do the IVs before like this. There's been like, no, for my egg retrieval, I remember I think I had a hand one. You did, yeah. You know, but like they're trying to avoid that since we'll be here for so long and it's just an uncomfortable placement of it. And I agree. I don't want to hand IV if I don't have to, but they have like a special IV team that has to come in and like assess, so don't have an IV yet. The first step for me, which initially I really wanted to avoid, but I feel okay about it mm -hmm. at this point after talking it through and understanding the reasoning, but there's a few different things. There's medications to get your cervix ripened a little bit if it's like super, super close. The thing is I know that I am one centimeter dilated and 40% ripened. Is that the idea? 40% thinned, not ripened. Thinned. Yeah, that's what you're asking. Thin, which is nice. So going into it, that medication that they would give me, misoprostol, mis miso, miso, prostol, yeah. prostol, miso, prostate, cyto something. <laughs> what? That they would normally give to someone whose cervix is like incredibly close, but I'm not that case right now. And so what I initially wanted to avoid at all cost is the balloon. But after talking and like seeing my case and like what they would recommend, usually the balloon is at the point where I'm at right now after the miso. Mm. So I keep calling it miso because my doctor called it miso yeah. and it reminded me of miso soup. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I can think about. That's nice, I like that. So I don't feel super great about it, but there is an exit strategy. The balloon does not have to stay in if it's like hard and fast, it's painful, this is not good. Because the last thing I want to do personally is hit the ground running so quickly that I can't keep my brain out of fight or flight. Yeah. And that's exactly how the nurse phrased it back to me. I was like, that's exactly it. I don't want to just immediately be in fight or flight. I imagined myself ramping up nicely, but with this being my first time baby and with where my cervix is at already, I've had literally three to four different opinions, including my doctor yesterday at our appointment saying that they just don't think miso is gonna do it. The balloon is known to shorten labor by like eight hours to like 16 on average. So that's where we're at. It's not where I initially thought that I would want to go. It's not where I really think I wanna go in the current moment, but I do understand that it's something that I should try and there is an exit strategy. We don't have to continue on if we don't want to. So that's where we're at. I'm waiting for the IV people. I think I need the IV before they even do the balloon and stuff like that. Correct. So it's just lots of waiting. And nitrous as well. Yes, and they're gonna get nitrous in the room for me to have. They also gave me Tylenol, which was a really good suggestion. Jack suggested it because I totally like forgot. <laughs> Goodness, I can do something, right? <laughs> no, that was really good because like having just Tylenol in my system for just like cramps is gonna be really great. Yeah. You know? And the thing is, some people it's like excruciating for the balloon, but also it might be totally doable 
and we just have to see so i'm sure i will update you guys <laughs> or jack will if i'm not doing well on the balloon baby girl looks good she does her heart rate sounds good her heart rate we have the heart rate on in the can background Yeah, I can hear. Your bed looks great. Oh, shut up. Look at mine. <laughs> I just had Chick-fil-A the second time. I think I got three sandwiches. My nurse just heated up a second sandwich for me. And honestly, keeping food, like I felt immediately better taking bites Good. of food. So Good. just keeping my belly nice and full. You know what we forgot though, you guys? The snacks. Yeah. Literally, we <laughs> forgot the snacks. We forgot to reference the list. And we forgot the bag of snacks. So, I just don't want Jack to leave to go get it because like we're pretty close to the hospital It's not the end of the world, but like I want to get settled in yeah. And like I don't want any IV people coming in or like balloon people coming in and you're not here <laughs> But then we'll get the snacks. Yeah, once we get you settled, I can make a trip I think I just had in my head that like I'm avoiding balloon at all costs But it's like Mac, you haven't even tried it. Just try it, you know If I had tried the balloon before and I knew I didn't like it and I still felt like that's where they wanted to go, I would feel a lot better just mm. like being like, no, but it's like, I don't know what it's like, so. Mm -hmm. We shall see. <laughs> What's going on, Mac? Update, the balloon is in, and holy moly, the placement of it was not fun, but doable, and the nurses and the doctor were so nice. Their affirmations were like spot on, right? They were, they were killer, yeah. Yeah, they were like telling me I was safe, I'm in control, we can pause, like all of this stuff. And I just felt very good about it. They're fantastic. And I think my number one fear about doing the balloon was like, it wouldn't give me that slow ramp up to labor that I wanted. I thought it was going to like, the balloon was going to be placed and it's going to be like this level of pain. And just like, that's what it is. But I am feeling contractions, like regularly, actually like a ramp up and a down and a ramp up and a down which is very exciting and that's exactly what i was hoping to feel i just thought the balloon like wouldn't achieve that but it is i think there was a level of panic there when they were placing it where the pain was so intense that i was like i can't do this for 12 hours and they were like no you won't have to like this is not what it's going to be like once we place it and once you calm down and like once you get situated and stuff and it's not so the placement was rough but it is starting contractions which i am happy with so what was it like for you the placement <laughs> i just don't like to see you in pain yeah yeah that's that's tough but i think what helped was like they knew mm -hmm. that you could do it yeah and they were pushing you like i have no concept for this thing yeah and you did you like absolutely crushed it so i was like really glad they were there to be like you let's pause uh-huh and then yeah keep on going. i felt like a little baby like i literally felt like i did not handle it very well i feel i felt my eyes like rolling in the back of my head for a second it was just like wild it reminded me of like hsg vibes I'm getting a contraction <sighs> My little monitors are going. So I have a belly band on. I have the balloon in and like there's a catheter out, but it's like taped to my leg so I can be mobile. She's mobile. I'm mobile, guys. Watch out now. Anything more dangerous than a walking toddler. It's a walking pregnant lady. I can walk through the floor. I can walk my room. Do you want to go walk the floor? We didn't do the room tour. Oh, we did the room this tour. This is it. There's the bed. That's the, that's the moment you've been waiting for right there. Oh, that's dad's bed. Oh yeah. But that is where I am, if I'm not walking around. I wish I could show you, but that's where the contraction and stuff are, like fell asleep or something. Look at all the space we get. Every room here has a bath, and they mentioned that they're a big fan of the bath, so any time I want to get in that to help with contractions and stuff, I can. It's got lots of balls. This is her first diet. This is her first little sucky outy thing for her boogers. And then this is where she's gonna be. This is her little warmer, her little scale. It's gonna be so cute. But yeah, this room is massive <laughs> and it's so nice. We had our first meal because I'm starving, even though I'm like in labor for like contractions, I'm still hungry. So we got grilled cheese, tomato soup, Jack got a chicken breast of sorts, and coffee 
for afternoon coffee. But right now, Jack is actually gonna run home because we forgot our snacks. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot, yeah. And feed the cats. Yeah, we'll feed the cats because we could get a cat sitter for every like time slot except for tonight. tonight. That's the update, doing well. Contractions have started and that's my take on the balloon. It's less fearful or full of fear or full of my fears than I thought. And I'm getting another contraction, so I'm gonna sign off now. Just said we've almost been here 12 hours which yeah. is crazy so we wanted to give an update i can't remember the last update i think it was like when we had the balloon in and i was feeling okay about it i think so and so far i still feel really good about it i've had consistent contractions and it's like exactly how i thought i could start off labor which is really nice and they came in and they checked the balloon a little bit early and i'm about a three which is great, which might sound discouraging, but we got here at like 9.30 and then because we were like waiting for a bunch of stuff, yep. they couldn't get my IV and like all of that stuff. We didn't put in the balloon or start any interventions or anything until like one-ish, but it's doing its job and it has not felt that long like at all. And I just feel like my body's doing what it's supposed to be doing. You're rocking it. And we knew it was gonna be a long process, but progress is progress. So mm -hmm. when they adjust the balloon what was interesting so the balloon if you guys don't know because I didn't know the exact mechanic of it there's a balloon that gets inserted through your cervix and blown up a certain amount 100% is 60 units of liquid yeah and then there's a balloon on the other side of the cervix that also 100% of it would be 60. I think I did like 45 mm -hmm. <laughs> before I was like, I'm good, <laughs> like the first time. Really and good. then like 50 on the outside one, and that got me here. And then when they checked how it was doing, it definitely was looser. She said it could fall out at any point, and that's the goal. Like they put it in for 12 hours, and they either take it out at that point or it falls out on its own because it did its job and it got to about a three to a four or so. And then they would start Pitocin because the cervix is clearly softened and open and all of that, which is really fun to hear. But when they went to check it, they pumped it 100%, so 60. But since it was like already in place, it was not as excruciating like at all. I had like PTSD. Jack was on one side, my nurse was on the other, like offering her hand. And I was like, wait, is this about to wait, be wait like second. just like <laughs> it was before? Because I cannot, like I would, but I need to know. And they were like, it is literally not going to be anything like that. And it wasn't. It wasn't. Just in case. Also, the cervical checks. I I think I said this when I when we came in. I had a cervical check yesterday at um, the OB, my OB, um, just to see where I was at heading into induction. Um, oh yeah. I am doing that. But anyway, so that. <laughs> 
It is really crazy. It's like, yes, contractions are painful and like I'm starting to not talk through them, but the break in between, it really does make it, at least this is in early labor stages, doable for me. Like it's, it's okay. The balloon is at like 60 and 60, so we're at 100% and I still feel good. And then the next point would be it would come out and would start Pitocin. They offered to start Pitocin with the balloon, but I'm waiting just a little bit um, to see, make the balloon work some more. It just got ramped up to like a little bit at 60, so progress is still good. The contractions are consistent and they like that. We also just spoke with the anesthesiologist that's on call right now because I definitely have expressed a lot of interest in the epidural when that comes time. I think I am curious about Pitocin contractions. I'm a glutton for punishment before I get the epidural, but we did talk to him while I was still like in a clear head, in a clear space, and understood all the information that he was asking me and giving me. So I felt good about that. And they always have one on this floor, which is awesome. Like we don't have to like fight over that resource with like other floors and stuff. The only time it would take like a little longer as if um, he was in c-section or mm -hmm. something like that so the only other thing is before I get epidural that we've been keeping in mind is after epidural it's the clear liquid diet and honestly eat it we've been eating like really consistently so far and that's been really helpful like doing this without food would be I felt myself like getting hungry and shaky and like teary without food. Yeah. It's been really nice to just eat when we want. But so far, induction, nine out of 10 experience. It was a little shaky at first, but what? it proved to be good. Just kill the guys. It's really hard to still wrap my mind around though, that like we're here for a baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we are. I know. She's coming. At the end of this, like, oh yeah, this is actually yeah. like for a child. I'm not even here without her. <laughs> How's Jack been doing? I'm really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm chilling. What's it like as the partner in these really early stages? You still continue to feel helpless. You've been so helpful though. Well, like you're doing all the work. That's yeah. all. I mean, I've been breaking your fingers. <laughs> she has. Yeah, in a good way. Am I excited? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Do you still feel like we're getting like a baby at the end of this? Or yeah. like, is it kind of just not real? No, I still feel like we're getting a baby. I think it hit me. The thing that caught me off guard was earlier today. I like had this thought. I was like, oh yeah, we're like, we'll just, uh, we'll go to bed tonight. And then we'll wake up tomorrow and like <laughs> start doing stuff. That's like, oh no, wait a second. Like we're starting induction today. Mm -hmm. So like we're kicking things off and like things are going to ramp up and like there is no sleeping tonight. Like we're going to try. Try yeah, we're gonna to try to get some rest. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to like sleep, honestly. I don't think I'd be able to sleep without contractions, like yeah. in, a, in a hospital setting. But I'm thinking that epidural nap might be feeling really good. So once like we start Pitocin and things get kind of intense, but then the epidural, I'm like, mm -hmm. let's do that. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous about the epidural, but we talked to him about everything and he like brought me through the whole procedure and like what it is. So I yep. feel okay. It's gonna be good. I think the hardest part honestly will be like sitting still during contractions but that's about it they've been great so far yeah i'm confident yeah i'm gonna send jack down to get some more food okay <laughs> i can do this all right max officially on pitocin guys <sighs> the tiny the the first dose first dose she's rocking and rolling it's feeding her right over here it's pretty doing hard. like different pipette things every tetrate hour yeah yeah or something so it's starting really low which yeah. i feel good about and we're not rushing into anything but it has officially started so. yeah and the nurse says it could it varies by person so like anywhere for the next hour to three four hours it could, could start to get interesting mm -hmm. so i'm going to try and get just rest i don't think i'll actually sleep tonight but just so i can be present mm -hmm. with mac and we know mac's not gonna sleep no, no. hello yeah. Zooming. Okay, but really, what you guys wanted to see. Oh yeah, this is the content right here. <laughs> HQ. It's actually not as bad as they made it out to seem. No. Like it's it's pretty wide. And you can. It's like, comfy. Take off those back pillows for like extra room and stuff. You yeah. Know? Let's be honest. I'm not going to be there for that long. I think you should definitely try to get some shut eye. I'm waiting for Papa John's. So. Oh. You is that me? <laughs> Not you, mommy. Guys, we got pizza because the cafeteria had like salads and cold cut sandwiches. Which is literally when I sent Jack down to the cafeteria. I literally said, I don't want wrapped up sandwiches or sandwiches that are soggy. Or, is literally the or salad. If that's all the two things she said. So we ordered Uber Eats. Cheers, bub. Cheers.
Mm. We got Papa John's. I've had this since college. Me too, actually. Chrissy always got it, and so I always got it. Ranch in their garlic sauce. The summer into senior year. Mm -hmm. We got so much because we were bulking. Mm. And literally, we got the um, barbecue chicken. And onion. Like it had that on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that one? Hawaiian or whatever. Can I dip in there? Yeah, oh, yeah. You want to dip in here. Mm -hmm. Yep. That After hits. This? That's it. After this, I'm going to change out of the clothes I came in because no one is forcing me into my gown, which is great, but I don't want to get this one messy. You know going to be interesting? What? How are you going to change out of it now that you're on Pitocin? <laughs> oh my god. I think you're locked in. No, I can't. This is my going home outfit, you guys. Oh, you're going home in it. <laughs> Shit! I didn't you think about it. You came in it, you're giving birth in it, and you're going home. I'm not giving birth in this. I'll ask if it's possible for me to do a quick change and she can help me. It is 2.14. No. Now it's 2.18 the morning i just went to record a clip ironically that talked about how our doctors and nurses are urging jack and i to get some rest while we can and then the head doctor on call just came in again <laughs> so it's really hard to get rest around here honestly but i've definitely rested my eyes and at least i'm resting my body a little bit but I've been on pitocin for a bit now and it's definitely a slow burn which i appreciate so nothing feels like super crazy right now but the contractions i would say are getting a little bit either closer or slightly stronger which is good still doable for me and they just came in and they took the balloon out i'm so happy there's a lot less pressure down there, and I now don't have this massive catheter hanging out of me, so that feels good. And it's not like taped to my legs, so I feel a lot more mobile, and I can like move around in my bed and stuff. Or at least just adjust my position, which is really nice. I could do it before, but it was just like awkward. It was weird. But when they checked me, I was at a very roomy four almost a five centimeters dilated. I'm 80% effaced and I'm at a negative two position. So things are going really well. I was definitely catnapping before they got in here and pulling out the balloon, doing a cervical check, doing vitals, definitely woke me up a little bit. And I'm also just excited at my progression. So I think they're going to let us rest for a few and then the next step would be talking about breaking my water. So they'll do a cervical check then to see where I'm at and then we can decide based on that and how I'm feeling if I want the epidural before the water breaking or after the water breaking. So I'm super surprised that I'm almost a 5 dilated and I haven't gotten the epidural yet. I thought I would be getting it at like two centimeters. So I'm excited to fill Jack in, but we're gonna rest for now. And that's the update. What's going on, mama? I don't have any chins anymore. <laughs> What's the latest? They just broke my water. How do you feel? I don't know. Aside from pregnant. <laughs> I'm, it just happened so fast. Mac was an absolute champ. We should have seen her. She so was like, I'll do it myself. And she reached out. The contractions are more frequent, I think. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I had the easy job. I got to actually sleep for a few hours. So I woke up when Mac needed some help. Yeah, I was telling them that I was like happy that you were sleeping because one of us needs to be alert. <laughs> I got you. Thank you. But yeah, they just did a cervix check and I'm about the same as I was before but the next logical step the doctor was saying is to break the water and that should move things along still and the pitocin I'm at I'm at a 12 and you started at a 2 mm -hmm. is working well as well mm -hmm. so they're not upping that or anything they're just still slow and steady and we're seeing how the water goes at every contraction though there's like another gush it wasn't like the movies for me 
even though they broke it. It didn't. She said there wasn't a ton of fluid just coming out like right away. Yeah. But they made like a little pool of like towels to like <laughs> oh, catch it well. just in case. Yeah, a little well. But with every contraction afterwards, you can just feel it. It's just like it's totally coming out. Cool. Kind of freaks me out that like there's nothing like protecting baby anymore. Like the it, the water broke, so like now I'm like, oh gosh, she's like out here. <laughs> but that's why they don't have you like go past a certain point with a broken water. So the big question was epidural before right. water breaking or after. Contemplating, I was like, how fast do we think it's gonna move after the water breaks? So that's still up for question. I'm trying not well. to like. It's definitely after now, but now well, it's just when. It's, yeah, it's like, uh, how fast. Yeah, but Mac is going to ride the rest of this contraction all the way through. Mm -hmm. And we'll update you guys when we have more. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Mac? Hi, guys. <laughs> What's going on? When did we last update them? Was it, um, water break? That's when. We told them I, they broke my water. Yep. I wouldn't say things hit, like, super hard and fast like right away it was a gradual noticeable change over the next one hour like not being able to speak through them but i still felt like in control zen like i hate to downplay them and i did not go all the way at all but if you have really bad periods you know how to handle that like it was just the same thing i've been in that situation before yeah all that to say though is it's bad enough because i have the epidural now and it is as fantastic as they say it is i would say like i still feel on like one side and i'll let our nurse know like some of the contraction like sharp pain on like this side or so it's not like concerning enough mm. like i'm talking through that like right now that's wild yeah but like whereas before you couldn't at all like i'm literally chill like this is earliest labor pains i'm pretty sure i felt this when she would like kick my cervix like last week or wow. something like it's just very not it's not a thing getting the epidural was not like looking back it was like totally fine but i was it was just spooky yeah for me it, personally. it freaked you out the spine like it's just so spooky to me i get that yeah so i was just like i can't move i cannot mess him up like but everyone was very nice very sweet and right now i've got a peanut ball in between the legs so that i continue peanut ball progressing the other thing is cervical checks on the epidural piece of cake <laughs> they're kind of intense like without the epidural yeah a little intense but nothing you can't handle i feel like a million bucks right now <laughs> gonna take a nap and that be i was nap. like kind of like drifting off Where a little you? bit while you're in the bathroom also they claimed me at a six and they checked me right after i got the epidural so they said that i timed the epidural perfectly jack and i both like really thought about the timing of it it was like about an hour like i said mm -hmm. after the water broke but i can't eat anything i'm on like the clear liquid type of thing um with the epidural now so jack as soon as mcdonald's opened <laughs> down the street he ordered it on doordash i got my sausage egg and cheese and i like probably could take two bites in between contractions yeah. at a time and then i had to hand you the sandwich and like have a contraction yeah yeah it took you like 10 minutes like, yeah, 10 to, to 15 that, to eat, eat the one sandwich because sandwich, I couldn't. Yeah, like nibble, nibble, contraction, contraction, nibble. And they got like harder. Yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh. But I knew I needed that sandwich. I was not going to get yeah. the separate girl without I'm, breakfast. I'm so glad you got that. Me too. And you got it down like... Well, also, I'm sure it helps with the nausea and stuff like totally. an empty stomach is just for me. It's never a thing. Like, it's not good. Yeah. Everyone says that baby girl's coming today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. How do you feel? I'm so excited. <laughs> One of the nurses got her hat made. She tied a little bow in it. How cute is that? This is where she'll be. Everyone has just been, like, so good. Everyone except for has. one person. But everyone's been really good. We'll leave all our Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. No, everyone has been so fantastic Yeah. Here. I wonder if the next clip will literally be baby. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to let you rest, and then I think when you're awake again, maybe oh. we, like, go through the name list. Oh, shoot. I keep putting that 
off. I don't know. We have lots of time to recover with her. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I think I already know what it's going to be. I think be. I already know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm pretty set on it. Are you really? Yeah. It's the perfect name. And, like, things have been just going perfectly. so perfectly. Yeah. So, it's all Okay, so say. fine. We know the name. <laughs> pretty sure. Matilda. That's <laughs> That's a beautiful name. <laughs> it's a stunning. I didn't say it was a bad name. Oh, I thought you were like. I was just trying to throw them off. I'm not going to actually oh, say that. Oh, you're throwing. I'm like, yeah. that's a really cute name. We it should add it to name. the list. <laughs> yeah, because Tilly, remember? I know. That's yeah. so cute. Oh. We talked about these well, names. Well, now I, now I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just... I mean, there's Marissa. There's Lena. I know. I'll just name her after all, all the, the nurses. nurses that yeah. we really like. All right, guys. We'll see you then. Bye, y'all. Bye. She's like showing up about now. Okay. So I'm gonna find her, tell her all about how you've been doing, okay. and then she'll come in and push with you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yes.
push, 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 push,